Hello everyone, today we will talk about array list. What is array list? Array list is a non-generic collection of objects. What does it mean non-generic? Non-generic means a specialized class for data storage and retrieval that provides support for stacks, queues, lists, and hash table. In our previous video, we talked about array, and there are a few differences between array and array list. If you want to use array, you must include system namespace, while in array list, you must include system collections. In array, you can store a fixed number of elements, while in array list, you, you don't need to specify the size. And array is a strongly typed. What does it mean strongly typed? This means that the array can store only specific type of elements or items. While in array list, you can store any type of items or element. In this video, you will learn a lot of array list methods and properties. So let's start. So here in our example, first thing first, we must add the system collections namespace this one okay so so that our array list will be uh, available and now we are ready to create array list so how to create array list just type array list and the name of the variable let's have uh, array val equals new and then array list and don't forget semicolon to terminate. At this point, we created a real list named array val. So how to add a value on our array? So let's let us use a method called add method. So to add a value is let us use array name, which is array val dot add and semicolon and then we'll for example five okay and then let's have another add another value that val add and let's have uh, two oh, sorry two okay and another value array val that add uh, let's have six okay not only integers but uh, you, we can also add another type like uh, string and double so let's add some string okay array val that add and let's have this is string okay so let's have another one array val that add and let's have 15.2 okay okay 15.2 Okay, this is how to add data and no need to specify the data type when you add. So let us print this one into our console. Let us use for loop. So for each and then var items and then the array name. Oh, sorry, array val. Okay, array val and then let us uh, console that right line and let us print the item okay and don't forget the semicolon let us save and run oh we have an error uh, okay uh, sorry okay so we forgot to put a semicolon let us clear first so that you can see okay and let us let us put semicolon and let us run oops run okay so here is the output five two six this is string and 15.2 notice that we add a single item or elements what if we add 100 items so we do it over and over again so it's time consuming However, array list have a method of range, add range. To add range is just simply uh, the array name is array 
like array val that add range and the parentheses and of course we have to instantiate new and then the array list and parentheses so we have to add inside the curly brace like for example 25 and then uh, ray string ray and let's have 20 and 15 so this is how to add an array okay and let us run okay here is the output notice that if we add or add drains it will add it to the last item but what if, if we want to add in the specific position in that case insert method is the solution so let us use insert method let us uh, set array val and then that insert and uh, let us put in a second position so base 0 and let that 1 means the second position because it is 0 base and then let us add 100 okay so semicolon save and run and here we go we can see our 100 in the second position again to insert in the specific position one means the position and 100 is the value that you want to insert let's take another example and let us copy and you have to edit put in position of 8 and let us put a string uh, jagger or just jug uh, sorry jug okay let us run and here we are uh, ray jug so let us count uh, from 5 5 is index 0 so 0 100 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ray is in 7th position, in seven, index 7, and Jag is in 8, index 8. So that's how to insert data in a real list. Not only insert, but there is also a remove method. So let us uh, remove items so let us mm, array the array well that remove okay and let us remove uh, this is uh, and run so now remove string this one already okay but remove but how about if you want to remove a couple of items not only to remove single items but there is also remove range okay I bound that all range. For example, from zero or from one, two, and three. So from here, from from one hundred to two and three. Okay, those will uh, those item will be removed okay so let us save and run so now item here this one remove now 5 and uh, 15 so 5 and now then 15 there is also remove add like this 
Sort also things array palette sort okay okay so right so what's the problem here you cannot sort the items if the data type is different so let us remove some items so one two three one, three save there's still double type so let us remove the item double let us delete first the sort method so that you can see the output unsorted run and here you can see 5.50.2 to the 5 to the and 15 so okay now all here and it does see that one now it is sorted that is how to sort an array list however it's not only to sort ascending order but you can also sort in descending order in that way we will use a reverse method so to do that let us use array val that reverse okay so let us run, save and run. So the output is 25 down to 5. In a realist methods, there is also method name contains. Contain. Contains. So what is that? Contains is a method to check whether specified elements exist in the array list or not. So, what's the output of this one? The output is, it will return true if exists otherwise false. So, how to do that? So, let us print in our console. So, let us console that right line. And we do... Uh, the dollar sign and let us print like for instance 15 exist in array list so let us put our uh, okay so name of the array that contains Okay, contains and then the value that you want to see. Okay, so let us save and run. So look, so 15 exists in the array list. So the answer this one is true because 15 is here. See, 15 is here. And false, it will return false if not exist 
So for instance, let's have uh, 7. So 7, so 7 here, and save and run. See, 7 exists in the array list. That is false because there is no 7 in, in our list. Okay. So not only contains, but there is also method clear method. So what is that? Clear. So it's how to use that? How to use clear method? Just simply the array value. Uh -huh. Sorry. Array val that clear. Okay. That's simple. What does it mean? It removes all the elements in the array list. Okay. So if you print that, so like this one. Save and so no more. Okay. Uh, uh, for example, let us remove this one. Let us remove. Okay. So, and also this one. Let us. Uh, or let us put here. Uh, sorry. Okay. Put this one. And here, let me put here, and okay, save. See, now it prints all here, and copy and paste here, okay. So what happened? First, it will print all the items, and here it will clear and will not and they clear all everything here. They clear everything here, and nothing will be nothing must print. Nothing will print. Okay. Save and run. So here 5 until 15 and nothing like that. So let us print some console here. Let us uh, print nothing. Nothing are uh, all elements was okay save and run so here so all was printing here and then it was clear and now only this was print. all element was clear so okay so that's how to uh, to use clear Okay, so what else? Now I will give you two array list properties. So first is the the count. What does it mean count? So let us uh, let us erase this one first. Okay. So array that or a rival that count or let us say let's say console that right line okay that for example uh, a rival that count 
save the desk clear first. Okay, so let's run. And here the count is nine. Why? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine count. So that's that's why it's here, it's nine. And there is also properties like console let's copy this one okay run that capacity capacity so the capacity see the capacity the capacity is 16 what is count and what is capacity so the count is to get the number of elements actually contained in the array list so what is that so as you have noticed this is 9 so this is this is this is the number of element contained in the array list array value this our array list name okay well the capacity is to get or sets the number of elements that the array list can contain so why it's a 16 capacity start from 4 let's see like this same let us run what is the capacity of this the capacity is 4 see the capacity is 4 the capacity starts from 4 and when the con when the items in the array list more than four it will add the capacity into eight hmm? see let's try let's have one two three four so let we have five number okay so we have we have an element of five and expectedly that we have eight capacity let's run and here we are five and capacity of eight and let's have more example what if uh, eight and then when the item exists into eight elements so it will become 16 like this five and okay so this is i think 10 10 save and run okay here 10 so this is 6 and so on and so forth 16 34 uh, 32 i mean 16 32 64 and so on that's how capacity will work it will add at this point you know array list and their properties and methods and few of their properties and methods are not been tackled here and it's your time to do your assignment okay so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye